Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Bossy Siam, and I'm bringing you episode number 19 of Tuesdays with TJ. Alright, today, this episode, we're gonna kick it off about why I'm making YouTube videos and what I hope to accomplish from it. First off, I wanna say that, you know, like after you turn 18, YouTube asks you if you wanna start monetizing your videos. And <laughs> clearly, because I don't know why, but I just said, alright, sure, why not? I signed up for it. And it was all handy dandy and stuff. And then I started trying to monetize a few videos and some of them got rejected, some of them got approved. But I was basically like thrown off my game a little bit. And then I, I just got back on track and I was thinking, why am I even doing this? Because a lot of people start YouTube for the wrong reason. They start in hopes of making money. And I don't want to be people, I don't want to be a person like that who's only in it for the money. Because a lot of people, <laughs> you know who? Um, if they didn't have the money aspect of YouTube anymore, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do it. I mean, already, they have a lot of subscribers now, and you can already tell that some of them don't even put any effort into their videos anymore. I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm pretty sure you can guess, especially if you play with me on Call of Duty. Um, whenever I see someone with a clan tag that resembles a famous YouTuber, I just like, you know, I start hating on the guy sometimes. But, you know, enough about that. So, why make YouTube videos? I do it because I have fun. And just yesterday, I took the AP test for psychology. And I learned in psychology that through the over-justification effect, if you're getting rewarded for something that you already enjoy doing, then you lose interest in it. So, why get rewarded for doing YouTube? You're already having fun for doing it. And you should only do it if you're having fun. If you're getting paid, that's good because you're getting paid to do something you already like. But then, if you get paid, then you might start losing the interest and have lose the fun aspect of doing YouTube. And that's like what's the most important part to me right now because I started doing YouTube not with hopes of getting paid. I, I just did this because I like having people watch my videos and I think it's really interesting. And it's a lot of fun to do. So, yeah. So, I decided I'm not going to put any ads on any of my videos like ever. I mean, because... I'm not doing this for the money, and clearly this YouTube thing is not going to last forever. And it's definitely not an occupation that will last for a long time. So I don't think it's going to like be worth my time to go for this. But I still think that YouTube is a load of fun, and even if I'm ne never going to get paid for it, I still want to do this nonetheless, just because it's fun and entertaining for me to do. So yeah, no ads on my videos, I can guarantee that. But. BCSIM tried to uh, start monetizing some of his Minecraft series and I told him not to but you know we'll see what happens hopefully he won't add any ads onto any videos because most of them are getting denied anyway so I don't think that's gonna be a really big problem but yeah just trust me guys I'm not gonna put any ads at least on any of the videos that I make myself so just trust me on that no ads yep and the second topic I want to talk about is girls and this is gonna be Kind of a rant, but not really a rant. But I just want to say, girls, you guys are the most confusing motherfuckers in the entire planet. I mean, seriously, to us guys, you confuse us the day, shitting daylight out of us like crazy, man. And I'm not, I'm not even kidding. So, the first thing I want to talk about is, girls, you think you're doing us a favor when you try to act nice, like especially like when you're like rejecting a guy or like when you're just like hanging out with the guys and you're like being really nice you're not really doing us a favor because even when you do reject this instead of like when you're being nice that makes us feel like we still have a chance and we'll come back to you <laughs> and that, that that's clearly not an option because if you're rejecting us in the first place maybe you know like you clearly don't want us or anything but if you be nice about it a guy will come back to you especially if they like you a lot and yeah that's just gonna happen and like at this age, like college and beforehand, girls don't really care about if you're like nice, if you treat them well that much. Most girls just like care about looks and like treating you nicely is an added bonus. But right now, like most girls are shallow. I'm not talking about all girls because I know a lot of girls are like sincere and kind hearted out there. And <laughs> I don't even know what I'm ranting about because I don't run into these girls very often. But I'm just saying that you should. Don't be like overly nice to a guy because it's just gonna give them the wrong idea. And that really also ties into like girls leading guys on and that's just so annoying. Why would you ever do that? It's like the worst thing you can do to a guy almost other than like cheating on him. 
leading on a guy, giving him hope when he really has none, that's just dirty. Like, seriously. Like, I wanted to talk about it in the last Tuesday with TJ, but I didn't really have the chance because I was running out of time. But my friend Trick, yes I am, he said that he totally felt led on by the girl because basically she, like, during prom, she just asked him, like, oh, you want to spend some alone time with me coming to this place by my... Um, we'll just spend some time by ourselves. They were on together. He clearly ma he clearly pointed out that he's like, oh, we're just going as friends. There's nothing else going on, right? But still, she just like drags him everywhere, takes him to the room all by himself. You know, like has him hold her hand, give her his jacket. She lays her head on his chest. All these things, like all these things, can be interpreted as signs that she's coming on to him. But nope. He tells her that he likes her and she says, sorry, I don't like you that way. And really the reason that she was doing this because she wants to feel what it's like to be in a relationship without actually being in a relationship, you know what I mean? And seriously to guys, that's just like using us and using a guy is just not the right way to handle guys. And if for some reason you happen to watch this video, um, I really hope you don't, but you know who I'm talking about. So, I just really hope you guys don't watch this video. I mean, <laughs> of course I want people to watch my videos, but I don't want it like people like start thinking that I'm talking shit about anyone when I'm not really trying to, but I'm just saying that girls should not treat guys over nicely when they don't have any interest in them and I mean, it's cool to be friends and all, but just don't like you know, mess around with this shit cuz it is really annoying. And <laughs> last important tip I want to tell you guys, um a really great way to annoy girls is to tell them that you want to tell them something and then pretend to change your mind at the last minute so then they get really interested and they really want you to tell them what, you're, uh, what you are going to tell them but then you change your mind and they're like <laughs> they get so frustrated they're like come on tell me tell me tell me and they'll just keep pushing you until you tell them but if you don't tell them <laughs> it's a really good way to keep them frustrated and stuff so yeah well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tuesdays with TJ. I know it wasn't too long or anything, but hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. This is Boss Yes I Am. I'm out. Peace.